Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar has been in the thick of things in the early morning hours as the Senate uh, confirms the Electoral College totals after working all night inside the Capitol. Things have calmed as you see the sun rising on a new day, hopefully a calmer day in America. Senator Amy Klobuchar joining us live from Capitol Hill this morning. Good morning, Senator. Well, thank you, and thank you for having me. And what happened yesterday, I just want all Minnesotans to know, um, it was uh, an act of vandalism. It was an act of violence, insurrection. Uh, this had been brewing. I had been talking about the need to respect our elections and what happened for months and was one of the leaders on this. And sometimes referring to what the president wanted here was a coup. And sure enough, uh, that's what these uh, people literally were doing when they marched into that Capitol. And um, I am so glad that in the end, uh, we got back to work. That was our number one goal, uh, was to be able to get back into that chamber to show the American people that this was not 1814, the year that uh, foreign troops came in and burned down our capital. Uh, this is the year 2020 and 2021. And this is the year um, that we're going to make sure democracy prevails. And in the end, as horrific as the day was, at four in the morning, I was in the chamber with Vice President Pence um, announcing and uh, literally announcing that Joe Biden had been yeah. the victim of the election. Senator, uh, who do you blame for this? Is this squarely at uh, the foot of President Donald Trump? Yes, it is. He has incited this specific riot. He literally asked people to march down the mall to the Capitol. Uh, he basically questioned our democracy and a bunch of people that were interviewed, including uh, by uh, CBS all day, um, said that they believed that he had won the election, that it was rigged, and those were his words. And that's not true. And one of the most amazing facts is we've had Republican governors and Republican secretaries of state from all over the country saying, no, the election was valid. We have had done a recount. We have looked at the ballots personally. We have, everyone has said this election, in the words of Trump's own Homeland Security, election security head, uh, it was the most secure election in American so, history. So four people are dead. Four people are dead because of this. Should the president be removed from office? Should the cabinet take action? Should the Congress take action? All of those things are possible. And as you know, Jason and I supported impeaching the president uh, over a year ago. I still do. Um, whether this will happen is up to his own cabinet. Uh, the way the rules work, over 50% of his cabinet members uh, would have to vote to do that. Uh, then the vice president would have to be part of that. And people would have to stop kowtowing to him. Uh, the inauguration is 13 days away. And I will be on the platform. I'm actually charged uh, with um, conducting the inauguration. I'll be speaking at the inauguration, as will my Republican counterpart, uh, Senator Blunt. And number one goal for me is they had better beef up that security and make some major changes. What happened? Like, how was, I mean, here in Minnesota, we have seen a very different sort of response to protest. We knew that there was a potential for this to happen. How was there so little security at the, the heartbeat, the bedrock of our democracy? Number one question, number one question, Jason, why was there not enough planning? Uh, why were uh, there not uh, National Guard and others there in the beginning? Because look what you had going on. You had major protests called for by the President of the United States in four different locations in Washington, D.C. This was same. foreseeable. This was 100 percent foreseeable. And you had, and it was all out on social media, and you had a major event going on. Well, usually not one of historical significance, one of little fanfare. The entire Congress gathered uh, in one place. And of course, it is a magnet uh, for domestic or foreign terrorism. We know that. That's why in the State of the Union, we have beefed up security. Uh, this did not happen there. So, of course, major reviews, major questions, and prosecutions of uh, those uh, that desecrated the building, those that came in, those that perpetrated uh, violence, uh, and all of that is going to occur. And um, I, my goal right now is to make sure uh, that Minnesota understands uh, that we are going to have a peaceful transition of power. And that is going to happen on January 20th at 12.01 p.m. 
um, as I am sitting on that stage next to Joe Biden, he is going to become uh, the next president of the United States. Senator Amy Klobuchar live in Washington, D.C. Senator, thank you. We'll be right back.